What's going on guys, I'm Cosmo, welcome back to Scrapping Cannon Crashlander, and I'm not actually in my world right now, I am in my screenshot world, where I use all of the admin commands to get really cool screenshots for you guys, because I want to try prototyping something. As you can tell by the title, I really want to try making a power generator with the aid of Wax. I want to see how feasible this is, I want to see if this is going to make sense to build in my own world, before I actually, you know, spend the time collecting the resources and building the darn Thing. So this will be a good experiment. I'm really excited and uh, I guess without further ado, let's get right into it Let's type in some fancy commands that I don't use in my survival world I know a lot of people are now gonna be like oh Cosmo you cheat in your world. Well, guess what? I don't okay Otherwise, I wouldn't be like doing grinding streams and stuff Okay, so I'm gonna go with God as well because I don't want to starve and I'm also going to set it to daytime So that the passage of time is frozen and I can just work freely and as you can see I'm like nowhere near where I was in my other world, so no spoilers here. I'm going to need an alternator to start with, and there are two alternators. There's a compact one and a heavy duty one, and it seems like the heavy duty alternator actually has more resistance and a higher speed requirement, which I don't necessarily want because I already had trouble spinning the compact alternator with like a crappy engine. So we're just going to use the compact one and what chips? Okay, yeah, great. I'm gonna get a bunch of achievements in the save file, unfortunately, but that's okay. The achievements, I'm pretty sure, are uh, public, so it's not gonna spoil anything for me. All right, I'm just gonna build a platform for now. Now, if you're not familiar with this mod, uh, basically the idea of this alternator unit is that you can have a bearing, which has, you know, some kind of, uh, I guess, thingamajigger on it. In this case, it is just a piece of wood that I'm going to hit with my hammer. But if we connect this to the alternator, and uh, as you can see, there is zero power generated at the moment. But if I hit this thing over and over, as you can see, I have generated some power. So that's pretty much what I want to do, but have some kind of enclosure where, you know, a walk can wander into and just start, you know, just start generating some electricity for uh, for good old Cosmo here. So let's make this platform a little bit bigger and then uh, I'll start building this whole mechanism here. Although to be fair, it is probably easier if all of this is going to be mounted uh, you know, to the ground, because I don't want cows to have to walk over any sort of barriers, you know? I want them to find some corn, be like, ooh, walk into my thing, and just walk around for a bit while, you know, while they chase the corn. You'll see. Gonna throw a pipe in the ground, gonna put a bearing on there, and now I can actually build, uh, I guess I'm gonna call them my gates. I don't know, my spinning gates? No, it's gonna be like a revolving door, essentially. Now, I have to figure out a way to make sure that cows kind of get in here and then stay in here. And I also need to figure out a way for them to, you know, always move around in a circle, you know, always keep moving forward. And I think I have solutions for both of those things. So let's first try to build some kind of enclosure, which will hopefully contain the walks. The other possibility is that I lure the walk into here myself, you know, and then just make sure that it, uh, keeps walking on and on and on. But I'm kind of curious to like make this almost like a walk trap so that I don't have to do that so that they can just, uh, you know, get in here on their own. That would be fan. Fantastic. The only thing that might be an issue is if multiple cows get in here and then they try going in opposite directions and then this thing doesn't move. But we'll cross that bridge if we get there. Gave it a bit of a shape. Now I'm gonna have to make some entrances for sure or maybe just one entrance. No, but multiple entrances will just work so much better. All right, how big is one of these walks? Wait, I can't spawn a walk in? Are you kidding me? Can I go like spawn walk? Oh, mint. Hey, hey, come back. Come back, I have to measure you. Excuse me, could you move over a little bit? I need you to be on the grid, please. Come on, guess we're getting the corn out. What about five? Five is probably good, right? Six, five or six. Well, I'm not calling you fat. I'm just trying to fig- Hey, it's fine. It's fine to be six wide. It's okay. Nobody, nobody's saying it's a bad thing. Question is, is this even or odd? It's probably odd width, right? Which makes sense. Cool, we'll do five. 
Hopefully once they're in here, they, you know, won't like get jammed up and die, but <laughs> time will tell, I suppose. Okay, so now that the entrances are here, I actually just want to test it. So let's put a piece of corn right in the middle for our precious walk to come eat. All right, let's see this. Oh, five is not enough. Man, did I make this just way too small in general? What the heck? Okay, well, it's in here. It, it looks good. What if I put this here? It can't move that. Why can't... Sorry. Sorry, but why can't she move that? Why are you having a hard time moving that? What's going on here? Oh, okay. So maybe it's just a weight issue. It could just be a weight issue. So hold up. I will fix this. I have, I have the solution. Okay, so it's kind of moving it now. That's good. Yeah, I know. I hear you. I'm sorry. I know this is taking a while, but you know, all good things take time. Move towards that, please. Are you kidding me? Why are you struggling so much? Bro. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Here. Here's some corn. You can go. I, I'm i gonna fix this. Or at least try to. I'm gonna see if putting another bearing on here will somehow help me. Because I should already have one there. Perfect. Really? Could you please move? Excuse me? Alright, everybody close your eyes. Oh, okay. Thank you. And put that on there. And oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the Ah, uh, okay, sure, sure. I'm sorry. I am, I am so sorry for what you just experienced. That was awful. You're free to go. I will find another walk. <laughs> Attempt number whatever. Oh no. Why? Oh, oh. Okay, what if we have two of yous in here? Oh wait, I can't even do it that way. But still, they, they're like not moving. But yeah, I can't do a double bearing here because then it won't generate the power. But still, the point still stands. They, they can't even move it with two bearings. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> I made uh, I don't think this is a this is a power generator. This seems like a cow killer to me so far. <laughs> oh no. Guys, what's going on? They just like don't seem to have the ability to push that. It's so weird. Now all of you guys are here. My goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> uh, no cows were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Stop. Calm down, sir. So where did you come from? Yeah, I know. Moo. Crazy, right? Oh, man, you guys are insane. Show me a proper, like, turning, okay? Please. <gasps> Okay, it kind of works, but here's the kicker. They can't actually eat the corn, right? They need to keep walking. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to build kind of like a hanging corn thing. You know, sort of like a carrot on a stick type deal, except uh, we're going to have corn on, uh, on a pipe. Corn on a pipe. That's what these guys are getting. I hope this is tall enough, but I don't think it is. It, of course, of course, just munched it. Just munched it immediately. I'm going to throw a controller down so that I can uh, offset this right here. Excellent. And now let's put a piece of corn on this. Ah, ah, guys, calm. No, stop. Chill. Ridiculous. You guys ate the corn. You weren't supposed to eat the freaking corn. There's way too many of you now. Okay, everybody out of the experiment room. Out of the experiment room. Now, everybody get out. Get out. Of course, I'm adding all this weight again, unfortunately. If this works, then I will just rebuild it out of something extremely light. I just wanted it to look semi-decent. All right, well, I need more walks because they they realized I'm just a mean guy that hits them. Sorry, guys, but you kept, kept being in the way. All right, spawning a walk. It's going to try to get that corn. It stopped trying to get that corn because none of this is moving. Ay, caramba. Is there anything lighter than wood? Do I build this out of cardboard and just like risk it getting destroyed? Is that what I'm doing? Cardboard meme, let's go. Maybe I found a use for cardboard finally. Oh, what the heck? All right, well, everything is rebuilt out of cardboard. Um, this should be good. Oh, I do need my controller. Whoops, it is easy. All right, show us what you got. Okay. Wow. Are you kidding me, man? And I just broke my cardboard. I just don't understand why there's so much like rolling resistance, you know? Like, what's the deal? Could try getting more leverage on it, you know? That's an option. Let's try that. Because theoretically, you shouldn't need as much force to turn it if you're doing it from the outside. So here should be a lot easier than, you know, here, which it is. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to make this as big as possible because at this point, I just want to know, can they move this? You know, because 
I can move this. I can move it just fine. In fact, it's getting kind of heavy, actually, even with all the cardboard. Hmm. Well, we can try it anyway. But that's the issue, though. It's like, yeah, sure. Like, now I have better leverage, but now I have more weight. We need to walk. All the walks left because I kind of scared them away. I tested the shorter lengths and it didn't work. And, and then they got stuck and... And then things happened, and here we are. So, new walk time. <laughs> new walk times. <laughs> Get it. You're gonna put a piece of corn right here. Are you coming over to see me? I thought there was... Yeah, there you go. Come here. Come here. I got some stuff for you. Wow, they are so rude, man. You, like, you leave a bunch of corn out for them, and they're like, no. You know what? And then they come back. You start taking it away, and they come back. So I'm just gonna spawn another one in. And it is doing absolutely nothing. Great. I am so thrilled. Uh, as you guys can see in the menu, I also tried wolves. But the problem with wolves, you know, they're just gonna go aggro and everything. There's nothing singular that I can attract them to. And otherwise, they'll just chew through your freaking energy generator. So that's not good. Um, this walk is struggling, guys. I don't know what's going on, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Yep, doesn't matter. Long, short, it just doesn't matter. They just can't seem to push this. I don't understand why. Ah, uh, that is so silly, man. That would have been so cool. Not to mention, this is without any sort of resistance on the bearing. Because when you put an alternator on there, well, all of a sudden, you've got resistance, right? So this is just extra oof. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck bro what just happened wait a second is this like all of a sudden easier no it's not right i thought maybe it was like easier to move all of a sudden because the bearings hooked up to something nah come on you know you want this corn it wants it but it didn't eat its wheaties today so it can't push a little bit of cardboard on the bearing come on wow two of them can't even do it okay well that's this is not happening like this is just not gonna happen there is one thing that i would like to try before i call this an entire failure and that is build a cart that I can kind of place around a walk and uh, have it walk around and potentially <laughs> generate electricity. You'll see what I mean in a sec here. Let's see if this even fits over one of these. Yes. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Let's keep going. <laughs> Are you curious what I'm building? Yeah, it's for you, don't worry. You'll get to you'll get to try it out. <laughs> I honestly have no clue if this will work. I might have to get rid of the caster function here, but we can definitely try this. Now to slip this over a walk. That is the main challenge. Please. Oh no! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, it's awful. Okay, sweet. I actually forgot to add kind of like a barrier. There we go. Okay, now come and get some corn. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Get the corn! I just, I don't understand. Well, I hope this was a good learning moment for everybody. It certainly was for me. I was very excited to have some uh, free labor, you know, some walk power generators, but it looks like that is not going to happen. It would be really cool if we had like a rope system and stuff. I could do like a system where a walk walks onto a plate, you know, the plate gets lowered as the plate is lowering and generates energy. Then the walk walks off, the counterweight brings the whole thing back up, generates energy. I don't know, okay? but. The the reality of it is guys next time we're gonna do a piston power generator because honestly that is the most logical thing to do if you want infinite and uh you know stable power generation so i will see you guys in the next video i hope you enjoy this one let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas for uh potential walk generators but i honestly don't think it's gonna be possible so thanks for watching and bye bye <laughs>